Hello everyone, today I've got a video that's dedicated to napkins. Whenever I publish a video using napkin art, it's always really well received, but I am always flooded with questions from my friends overseas asking where I got them from. Um, you know, we're very lucky here in the UK. A lot of napkins are manufactured in the UK and the EU, so they're quite easy to get hold of. But I know that it's a problem for you guys in the um, in Canada and the US, for instance. So today I'm going to share an unboxing um, from a company that's based in Canada. So hopefully more of you will be able to join in with the napkin party. This beautiful collection was sent to me by a lovely lady called Nini. Um, her real name is Nicole, um, known as Nini, and she is the founder of a company called Nini's Napkins based in Ontario in Canada. So I'm just going to show you some of the wonderful designs that I've received, these gorgeous tissues. So I've got a mixture of tissues and napkins, um, as you can see here. So we've got these gorgeous tissue designs. Um, you'll have seen several projects um, from me in the past using these. Um, these these are the smaller cocktail napkins I would um, call these and what I've tried to do is separate these into two seasons so these are clearly the summer themed ones look how beautiful these are I've got two um, of each of these um, which is how um, Nini sells them I'll leave the link to her company as I've said in the description box below then we've got these large ones absolutely beautiful there are some gorgeous gorgeous designs so I really hope that by sharing this um, it will just make napkins more accessible to my lovely friends across the pond um, just so many beautiful designs look at that one there isn't that just gorgeous and so what I'm going to um, do, I love this one here, very folk art style. What my plan is, is over the next coming weeks and months, is I'll try and share as many ideas using some of these nap uh, napkin designs as I can. Some of them are seasonal, so, you know, um, we'll be doing some over the winter months and then into the spring as well, you'll see in a second. Um, love these bird ones here. We've got these two here, which I think go really well with these bird houses. Um, beautiful. I've got those. Um, out of sync let me just um, pop them in order so that um, I know where to find them when I come looking um, this bird one here is more of an autumnal thing uh, theme that is just gorgeous then we've got um, a few that I just think would be perfect for backgrounds we've got this one here which is very much um, a dot art style I love this one here as it reminds me from my recent visit to the Alhambra in Granada um, love this one here which is very much um, Moroccan um, themed then we've got some seaside um, ones we've got these gorgeous um, nat geo style um, shells um, seahorse and corals and then we've got um, this nautical design here with the lighthouse and the anchor um, and the ship etc so I like those we've got um, a couple of African themed napkins we've got this one here I love this one here with the zebra that is just absolutely gorgeous I've used um, a napkin similar to this in the past albeit it had more colour um, um, but we'll see what we can do with that and then we've got this one here which would um, be beautiful for a child's card or, or bedroom um, picture or something like um, like that we've got a couple of animal themed ones we've got um, two dog napkins and a couple of cat ones as well those are really cute and then kitsch high heels oh my goodness me I would break my neck if I wore heels like that um, these days um, this one here um, that reminds me very much of the um, Van Gogh picture um, love this one here with these gorgeous um, chinoise um, vases and then we've just got this selection here as well I absolutely um, adore that um, wolf gorgeous um, I've got this owl very similar to a tissue that I did a project with last Christmas or the Christmas before this one here again very winter themed but I just love that and then a, cu a couple of really cute Christmassy ones um, as well so we've got these so you know we can use those later on in the year and then for next spring we've got some um, Easter themed napkins as well and this is just a small selection of the napkins that um, that Nini has on her site. Now the first napkin I'm going to play with is this one here. I just think this is beautiful so I'm just going to open it out just so that um, I can show you what it looks like. I think I'm going to start off by using this part of the napkin here and what I'm going to do is just um, gently um, water around this part here. I'm just going to use um, a water brush. Let me just um, activate it here 
and I'm just going to go all the way um, around. I'm trying to keep these parts here intact. I want to go all the way up around the antenna just so that I can keep that intact. And all three plies are um, attached so far, so this should make it really easy for me to pull this part of the napkin apart without losing any of the other bits. Here we are, isn't that just gorgeous? I want to glue my napkin um, onto this invoice here. It's a French invoice, it's just a copy. Um, this was one that I got in a set from either AliExpress or Amazon or somewhere like that. I'm just going to use a regular pencil just to draw just around the outline here just so that I know where to apply my glue. And then I'm just going to use a regular glue stick. You can see that I'm working on a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to follow that glue line. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. What I am focusing on is just making sure that I've got glue absolutely everywhere. You don't want to miss any parts because if you do, um, the napkin won't stick to the parts where you haven't applied any glue. Um, you want to pay particular attention to the edges. You could use um, matte medium for this. You could also use watered down Mod Podge. It really doesn't matter. It's just that I find um, a glue stick for relatively small areas just um, easier to manage. I'm going to take that um, off the parchment paper and now um, I am going to take my plies apart and I do believe this is three ply. Yep, it is. So I just want the top layer. If you don't take your plies apart, then the glue will only stick to the under part and not the top. So it's just all going to come unstuck. And then I'm just going to work from the bottom and just stick my napkin down. Just trying to be as careful about this as I can. And then I'm just going to smooth it from the middle, working my way um, out. And if I've missed any parts, it doesn't matter. And if I get the, you know, odd wrinkle, that's fine too. But um, this is pretty good actually. Um, and you shouldn't get too many um, wrinkles if you're, if you're careful about it. So I'm just going to be really careful here and just press this around the edges just with my with my finger um, and you can use a bone folder what have I done with mine here we are um, I'd put it back in the wrong place so just be really careful about this just press with your bone folder just to iron out any wrinkles and just to make sure that that's firmly stuck down and then you can um, remove any areas with them um, with overhang mine's pretty pretty good and when that dries um, hopefully this will all fade into the background and you shouldn't be able to tell but you can see all that beautiful um, writing underneath it just adds more interest to that beautiful napkin now, of course, I could leave it like this and I'm just going to pop this off to one side just for the glue across the top um, to dry. But I'd like to use the top part of this napkin here as well. So I'm going to use my water brush again and I'm just going to carefully go around the edge like this. And in fact, actually, I only want the yellow part because I won't have any room for the for the white butterfly so let's see what that looks like if it's too big we can um, always trim it down so again I'm just going to carefully tear this away and I always find that it's easier to keep the three plies attached and then um, whilst you're trying to figure out where you want things to go and then um, and then remove the layers afterwards so here we are so we've got this now and let's see if this will work across the across the top I think it will so that will fill in um, that top area there and hopefully we'll still be able to see the areas um, of the invoice underneath so again I'm just going to take the layers apart um, just apply some glue oh hang on you can use a piece of sellotape to, to do this if you for, feel more comfortable doing it that way. But um, I always use my, my fingers. Just be gentle. You don't want to tear it. And so we've got that ready now. And I'm just going to apply glue over this top part here and glue the rest of my napkin down. 
Now I've decided I'm just going to go over the whole of it just to seal it with a coat of um, matte medium. I'm using the Winter and Newton Galleria brand. Just be gentle, use a soft paintbrush to do this. Um, just so that your napkin doesn't doesn't tear but this should hopefully um, help to make it more transparent as well i need a bit more a bit more matte medium just in the top here but just a really quick and easy way of adding more interest to your your napkins so i'm just going to set this off to one side to dry and we'll see what we want to do next Whilst this is drying, I'm just going to pop that off to one side and I'm just going to fussy cut this yellow butterfly out here. So this is the second napkin. Of course, I mentioned that um, when you order from Ninny's napkins, you get two of each design. So I'm just going to be really careful just to try and work around the yellow napkin itself. I'm leading myself, leaving myself a border just so that I can fussy cut it in a more manageable um, piece. I'm not worrying about the antenna because you'll still be able to see the antenna on the original background. I've cut my butterfly out and what I'm going to do next is just apply glue all over this piece of 100 GSM paper, so slightly thicker than copier paper. I just want something with a bit of substance but nothing too thick like um, thick cardstock. So apply plenty of glue. Um, again, let's just move that um, out of the way. Take these plies apart just, just carefully. We've got three plies um, here. Wet my finger to do this just to grab that, um, that third ply. Here it comes and then I'm just going to stick stick this down and again just work from the centre and work your, your way out. Um, I am going to apply some matte medium over the top of this and once that's dry I'm just going to fussy cut um, this beautiful butterfly out and we can use that as an embellishment. I've cut my butterfly out and I've also added some stays on around the outside and before I glue it down I just want to use my bone folder here just to apply some um, pressure just to the body of the butterfly just to give it some dimension. I'll show you why I'm doing this in a second. This just means that, um, here we go, can you see this um, shape here? It means that I can add some glue here and my butterfly will have some dimension. So I'm planning on just gluing my butterfly down like this. You'll still be able to see the um, underside. Um, in fact, actually, I might even um, ink the background with Distress Ink. I think I'll definitely do that. And I'm just going to use a brush to do that just so that I'm not too heavy handed. I just want to do it with um, a light touch just so that if you do see any of the underside um, that it's not completely stark, stark white. I just want to apply some glue to the fold that I've just made. Um, you can see it more clearly now that um, I've inked the butterfly. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue just in the centre here. Not too much. And I'm going to try and line, line that up. There we are. And that way my butterfly will have plenty of dimension. I just need to make sure that that's um, firmly stuck. And this is just um, uh, Tonic Studios tacky glue that I've decanted into a fine nozzle bottle. And there's just one more thing I want to do to this page. We're missing a bud of this branch here, so I fussy cut another one from the napkin. Again, I've got um, all three plies attached. I just want to um, cut a little bit of this corner here. Let's just, uh, just do that. And then I'm just going to stick this down, just using some um, gel medium. So again, whoops, I think I've just um, knocked my camera. Apologies for that. So a tiny amount of glue. I don't need, I don't need much. I'm just going to take these three plies apart now. That's the first one. And there we go. And just carefully, carefully stick, stick this down. Just make sure when you do this that you get it, or if you do this, that you get it the right, right way up. 
and I'm just going to apply a small amount of matte medium over the top as well just to seal it and what a beautiful page um, that is. So I think I'm going to um, stick. I've just pulled out one of the um, Tim Holtz small talk sentences with brave wings she flies. I'm just going to add that here. Let's try and get it um, straight. And I'm just going to ink around the edges with some Distress Ink in frayed burlap. Well, I hope that's given you some ideas as to how to use your napkins and make them into a whole page. And for anybody who's wondering why I've got dimension on my butterfly, I just decided to curl this one here around a pencil just to give it um, a bit of dimension. I've just done this. How cute does that look? Um, really, really sweet. I'm going to add this to my usual scraps journal. I just think it's going to look absolutely gorgeous next to this page here. So that's where it's going to go. I'm not going to do it today because clearly I need to do some work on the background as the pink and the blues just don't match um, but I just think it's going to be perfect opposite this page here. Now I will be back soon with more ideas as to how we can use this wonderful collection of napkins. Um, if you have any preference for which one you'd like to see me use next then please do feel free to leave me a comment um, in the comment section below. Um, I'll also leave all the details of Ninny's napkins as I said earlier in the description box as well so that's where you need to go if you want to find out how to get hold of these but if you've enjoyed today's video as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now